Hi guys, in this video, we are going to be looking at each of the properties of water in detail. As we have learned in the previous video, there are six properties of water. Water acting as universal solvent, water has low viscosity, water has high specific heat capacity, water has high latent heat of vaporization, water has high surface tension, and water have a maximum density at 4 degrees Celsius. Now, let's have a look at the first property, water acting as the universal solvent. Most molecules in cells are polar or charged. For example, these two ions here, sodium ion and chloride ion, that you can get in your body from your intake of salt. Since most molecules in cells are polar or charged, therefore, they could attract water molecules or, in other words, they can form hydrogen bond with water. Since water can form hydrogen bond with that polar molecule or charged molecules, just like in this diagram, water will begin to surround the molecules, forming a structure called hydration shell. As you can see, the partially negatively charged oxygen of water molecule are attracted to the positively charged sodium ion. Meanwhile, the partially positively charged hydrogen in a water molecule are attracted to the negatively charged chloride ion. Since most molecules in cells are polar or charged, therefore are able to dissolve in water, water makes a very good medium for chemical reaction to happen. Now. Let's have a look at the second property of water, that is, water has a low viscosity. What is viscosity? Viscosity refers to the resistance of a fluid to flow. The higher the viscosity of a substance, the higher the resistance for it to flow. Therefore, the more difficult for it to flow. However, water has a low viscosity. It means it is easy for water to flow. This is because the hydrogen bond between water molecules are simply attractions. Because hydrogen bonds are simply attractions, they can be easily broken down and reformed, thus enabling the water molecules to slide past each other with ease. Now let's consider this video that I have prepared for you. In this class, I have unconnected pearls, as you can see. This represents water molecules that are not physically connected to each other, but by only attractions called hydrogen bonds. In this class, however, I have pearls on a string, as you can see. This represents a compound where its molecules are held together by a much stronger bond. Now, let's have a look at what happened when we pour the unattached pearls out of the glass. As you can see, it flows easily. Since the pearls are not physically attached to each other, each pearl is able to slide past each other no problem, therefore causing the substance to flow easily. Now, let's have a look at the pearls on string. When we pour it, as you can see, it doesn't flow, rather it falls out as a blob. This is because since the molecules in the substance are connected by a much stronger bond, the molecules of that substance cannot easily slide past each other, making it difficult for it to flow. This should really remind you of that spoonful of yogurt that you put into your cereal every morning. Look, since water is easy to flow, or water has low viscosity, therefore, water makes a good medium of transport. Blood plasma is made up of 90% of water. We know that your blood circulatory system is the system that transports many things, including nutrients, gases, and waste products around your body. Water also makes a good lubricant. Example, synovial fluid, it joints. This is a diagrammatic representation of your joint and it is lubricated by a fluid called synovial fluid which is rich in water.